You know how a bunch of people have been telling me, hey, dude, you can't sell Chinese electric cars in Europe. It, they're not legal. They don't work on the roads over there. Well, yeah, nah, that ain't true. That ain't true even a single little bit. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. The Fiat Topolino. This thing is awesome. It's very slow. It has a very limited range, but I absolutely love it to death. It's like the, maybe the cutest little electric car you've ever seen. It's technically a quadricycle, as are many electric cars on sale in China that are actually much, much better than this is. Less cute, but much better and much safer. This thing doesn't even have doors. So this thing can be legally sold in Europe. I mean, they've been selling the Citroen Amy, which this car is based on in Europe now for a long time. No one said anything about it being a problem. Is it a problem? I don't know, but no one said it is. So it appears as though a lot of people got it wrong. Yes, you can sell Chinese electric affordable quadricycles, which are just small cars in Europe. And they're insanely affordable and a lot better than this for the money. In fact, way, way better than this. But hey, my point is here that this segment is a market that I think could flourish once we start getting more entrance like this very, very cute little car. So what is this thing? Well, if your heart hasn't already melted at the sight of this image, perhaps the translation of its name will help defrost your icy veins. Fiat has revealed the first image of its new, very small electric car and given it a name, which in translation literally means baby mouse. This is the Fiat baby mouse. Well, it does sound better when you say Topolino, doesn't it? Baby mouse. This is the upcoming Fiat Topolino. It's the Italian car maker's take on the Citroen Amy. Technically, it's not a fully electric car then because it's technically a quadricycle. But a fully electric quadricycle is an electric car as far as I'm concerned. Fiat hasn't released technical details of this small electric car. But the Amy is based on a 6 kilowatt electric motor, which is enough, more than enough, and a 5.5 kilowatt hour battery. That car does 30 miles an hour at its max speed, which is quite hard to get there. I've seen the tests. Have you seen them? Yeah, it's quite a challenge to get it to 30 miles an hour. And it does 47 miles of range, as long as you do what Nicola did and tow it up a hill and drive it down. But in all reality, you'd probably get about 35 miles of range. However, it's the kind of car that it can actually be driven by teenagers. Yeah, technically in some countries in Europe, teenagers, young ones, can actually drive this on the streets. They consider it to be just sort of like driving an electric bicycle around, but a bit bigger and a lot safer. Fiat says this new Topo aims to be the kind of car that brings a smile to your face. It will have joy, optimism, and fun baked right into it. And I mean, Fiat don't believe that it, you should just be young to drive this. They say it's suitable and fit for every generation. Here's what they had to say. The all-electric Fiat Topolino quadricycle is ready to contribute to expanding urban electric mobility and bring the, all the optimism of its namesake to an accessible all-electric version that encapsulates all the coolness of the Fiat 500. So this is Fiat's fourth electric car, and it comes after the small Fiat 500, the E Doblo, and the E Ulisse. Now, the Fiat 500, I, I mean, if you've seen one of those, they look pretty cool. They're cute as well. And I thought, that's a small car. But this thing makes that look big. Now, the Topolino actually brings back a name that once paved the way for urban mobility, produced by Fiat, from 1936 to 1955, the Fiat 500, aka the Topolino, was an ideal solution for Europe's crowded and narrow city streets. Now, according to European regulations, quadricycles can be driven with or without a license by anyone over the age of 16. I'm curious to know how that goes in Europe. Are there many accidents with these? I mean, obviously you can't drive them on a highway or a freeway, but, um, you know, it's a sort of situation where they're not real fast, 
And so you have to be really on the lookout and make sure you're uh, watching to pay attention that um, you're not driving next to a 16 year old who doesn't have a license. That could happen. Hey, either way, I think I've proven my point here. These small electric cars in China, the Wuling Hongwa Mini EV, for example, could sell really, really well in Europe. If you think about it, the Citroen Amy isn't exactly cheap. I mean, it's not exactly expensive either. It costs 6,000 US dollars. So if you think about it, there's compelling cars like the new Wuling Hongwa Mini EV that costs 4,000 US dollars. Imagine if they sold that for six in Europe and also, by the way, in America. Think I'm crazy? Well, apparently you can actually drive the Citroen Amy in the US now. There's quite a few of them getting around. It's part of a subscription service called Free to Move. Free to Move is a free floating car sharing and subscription service that the PSA Group launched in Europe. It's now part of the Stellantis Group following the merger with FCA. For a monthly fee, you can have access to their fleet of vehicles, which includes several electric vehicles from Peugeot and Citroen, all around several cities. This is one of the cars you can actually hire right now in Europe and in the United States. So if you're curious to know what the new Fiat Topolino is like and whether or not you should shell out 6,000 US dollars to buy one or whatever it's gonna cost, you can actually go and rent one. There's an idea, bit of fun, top down, probably a good way to see the countryside at a slower pace. Let me know what you think of this car in the comments. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.